Also tonight, a vigil taking place remembering the four people who died in that mass shooting in Florence over the weekend. Three others also hurt and they are starting a long road to recovery. Families of the victims, city leaders, community members have already begun arriving and WLWT News 5's Lindsay Stone joining us live as they have come and they have gone there at Crossroads and a lot of people showed up tonight, Lindsay. Yeah, more than a thousand, Mike, were here at Crossroads just saying a prayer for those, the four who were killed, and also the families of all of those involved after those horrific events on Saturday morning. It's difficult to put into words the kind of loss the Florence community has experienced over the last few days. But here, at this memorial wall, friends and strangers alike sharing their thoughts and prayers. Oh God, God, we need you the community coming together tonight to honor 44-year-old Melissa Perret, 20-year-old Shane Miller, 19-year-old Delaney Erie, and 20-year-old Hayden Rubicki. I ask that you just surround every single family member who lost somebody. Leaders at Crossroads in Florence praying a prayer of peace. God, I pray that you're with this entire community and you speak peace over us. And hope. Despite these tragedies, despite this horrific event that happened, God, that we can find hope in you as shock and grief still grapples the Florence community. It always feels like it's somewhere else, but when it's in our own backyard, um, it just has a really different feel. Families of the victims in attendance alongside a community wrapping their arms around them in the long journey ahead. I had the opportunity of visiting Chloe, Claire, Connor yesterday in the hospital. And they are fighting. Mayor Julie Metzger emotional as she described the difficulty the last few days have taken. When you have that many young people, first of all, it's tragic when any young person dies. But to have that many, I, I don't know how to process it, to be honest. really beautiful moment after the vigil was as everyone walked outside there was a rainbow above the church very moving moment there we also do want to mention there were going to be mental health services available at the florence government center from 11 to 2 for anyone in the community who needs it live tonight in florence lindsey stone wwt news 5. lindsey thank